afternoon or good morning if you're in the US. Uh, Sammy McLeod here and I'm here for a new platform. Uh, I've done a lot of content on Stadia and a little bit on GeForce Now. I've also used Shadow recently, been really impressed by all three of those. But I've also been trying out PS Now or PSNOW or Sony's cloud offering uh, recently and I have to say I am thoroughly impressed with it. As someone who's been a a Sony customer in the gaming world for quite a while. I had a PS2, um, PS3, and I always wanted a PS4, I didn't quite get one. But I now have PS4 and PS5 controllers to try out uh, this game here, this service here. So PlayStation Now, just a, a brief, it's effectively renting a PlayStation in the cloud. So I can play PlayStation games like The Crew 2 or Bioshock, or Wreckfest, Stranded Deep, I can play those without needing to buy uh, a PlayStation myself. I'm using this through my PC, uh, so they recommend a reasonably stable internet connection, uh, similar to what you'd find on Stadia or GeForce Now. And I thought I'd go into, I'll go into a PS4 game uh, one of my favourites that I've been trying out recently, you'll find out why later. But it's a game called Wreckfest, Drive Hard, Die Last. And as the name suggests, it's a bit of a, uh, a demolition derby game. If you're new here, uh, welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, I do a uh, lot of Stadia or cloud gaming based content. Uh, if you want to know a bit more about that, then click the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon next to it so that you can uh, stay up to date with all the uh, videos I put out. I'm going to work out why that's decided to... Uh, there we go. It's loading up the right window this time. Hi Shepard Roy, top of the morning to you. It's actually mid-afternoon here in the UK, but I realise if I streamed in the morning, not only with the sun streaming right through the window into my eyes, all you guys up in the morning up in the US wouldn't be awake for this. So I'm going to turn my camera back off just so you guys can see the whole screen. Uh, you do take a bit of hit on quality in PS Now as opposed to Stadia. Uh, 4K isn't available and I believe only uh, majority games are locked to 720p. So just a uh, low high definition if that makes sense. Uh, yes, I'm in the UK, so I know uh, US Eastern Time will be waking up and probably mid-morning for them, but if you're on the West Coast, as I know a couple of people, uh, even a couple of streamers I watch are on the West Coast, uh, they're not going to be up for a couple of hours yet, and they'll be having lunch a couple of hours after I've had my dinner. So I'm going to just go and wet. Wreckfest is exactly how the name suggests. It's a bit of a uh, a demolition derby type game. But one of the things I've really enjoyed is some of the custom cars you can use for it. So obviously you can use a car like uh, it says here Hammerhead, which looks like an estate car, but as a Class A car, is obviously quite beefed up. Uh, lawn mowers, school buses, harvesters. But my favourite has to be the sofa car. Uh, and you can choose various different modes for races. I'm going to go for an elimination race. Uh, so 23 opponents, uh, 23 AI drivers. And damage can be turned up to intense. Yeah, let's go for that. And we can't go for night. We'll go for a foggy day because that'll make it fun. But it's a figure eight, so there's going to be a crossover. Uh, expect a few crashes, uh, difficulties. Let's, let's actually put it to expert because I've had a couple of races on amateur, and no matter where I am in the middle of the race, we seem to end up winning them. Uh, shifting back to automatic. Oh, I changed that to hard, didn't I? So every 30 seconds, the driver in the last place in the race will be eliminated around this figure eight track. It should be fun. The sofa car, um, there was a bit of a shock to it. 
Uh, I guess we'll find out in a few minutes. But when it crashes particularly badly, I don't know why I'm looking at the camera, the camera's turned off at the moment, but when it crashes particularly badly, uh, something does happen. It did make me laugh when I first saw it. Uh, so good to see people joining in chat. Uh, say a quick hello in chat. Interact with Sammy Bot. And welcome to to Hilltop Stadium. Play through the power of a cloud. I don't have a PlayStation anymore. I used to have a PS3 years and years and years and years ago. Uh, almost in a different lifetime, really, for me. I'm going to change the view so you can see this is a genuine sofa car, although no one else seems to have got the memo about driving a sofa car. And you, can, you can see it as a sofa car, it's got a very short wheelbase. I'm going to have to speed up. I'm going to have to speed up. This could be embarrassing. My first race. No, there we go. And just a second. Cars do uh, wreck and can be out complete, but there you go. That's what happens when a particularly bad crash happens. Ruben says, what's this old stuff? I believe Wreckfest is a PS4 game. There aren't, as far as I'm aware, there aren't any PS5 games. That's the danger of the figure eight, I guess. A car crossing over. But Ruben, I'm glad you hit your hair because you'd quite like this uh, this game. I feel, and it's not a proper racing game. It's all about uh, crashing and having a good laugh. So, given your antics, I think that's uh, it's much better suited to you. I've got to try and get past Foul Coyote. Yeah, and because no one else is using using sofa cars. I feel a bit hard done by. I've had to respawn because I got stuck on the wall. You see, look at look at that. All sorts of problems there. And a PS now works on computers, on PCs, which is something I didn't think was the case a while ago. Figure eight. So I've I've done a lot with scale electrics, uh, the small toy cars. So I I know how to time a figure eight correctly. It's the other cars I'm worried about. The ones that are just parked straight in there. Ruben says he'd win anyway. Well, there is a multiplayer mode on this, and I. Be quite interested to see how it works. It's only eight players, so it's not it's not a particularly it's not using the cloud abilities too well. But it's it's still a good a good game. And of course it it's the same. F oh. Did I spin that guy out? But PS Now, you will have crossplay, or I don't know how you want to call it crossplay. That was a bit mean. I, f I think it's high. It's really hard. Uh, this game isn't on. Well, it might be on PC, but I don't know if it's crossplay with PC. I. I don't know much about this game, to be honest. I found it in the racing game section, Dominic, and decided, well, oh, I'll give it a go. And then I found that you could be wrecked in a sofa car, much like that. And I finished 14th. That's my first loss. I've won just about every single game on this one, on this game. But yeah, that was that was Wreckfest. I'm going to show a demolition derby. I'm going to try and get everyone in sofa cars because that's pretty. Uh, obviously, the uh, surprise is the sofa car doesn't have um, what do you call it uh, seat belts on it. So if you crash hard enough, the drivers just fly off. Demolition arena sounds good. If it's on PS now, it cross plays. Shep 
Chef Boy says. I will take your word for it. I don't know. I've not looked into multiplayer on these games yet, but I I think I might start getting people involved in it soon. Uh, AI vehicle. Is there a way of getting everyone in the same same as player? There we go. It'll be cross-play with other PlayStation consoles, but whether it's cross-play with PC or other platforms the game is on, I'm not sure. Sony were often quite slow on getting cross-play integrated with their consoles. So I'm going to turn the webcam off just so you can see the map in the corner. Every game on, on PS Now has cross-play with PC. Apart from obvious ones like the uh, PlayStation exclusives, uh, obviously they, they won't be having it. Tuning's disabled for this vehicle. We can't, we can't, we can't tune the sofa cover. There you go, 24 sofas. We're about to go for a demolition derby. What? That's absolutely brilliant. You can see in the bottom left hand corner uh, that damage meter. I'm being. This is quite brutal tonight. Oh, uh, hit again. I think this is where I've turned the uh, damage to insane. Uh, it seems that every time someone's hit, not just me, it's the other drivers you can see are being hit. Yep, I said tonight, my body clock's gone completely weird. Let's see if I can get it back on its wheels. And as soon as I do, someone else hits me. Field Bill says, I think the damage might be bugged because you can see how many times I've been hit and I'm still at 100 of my health. Whereas everyone else, you see the bars just underneath their name. That's the other thing I don't like. The camera likes to swing around when you reverse. You find yourself reversing quite a lot because the AI even in the races, do like to crash into you, which is why I say Ruben like, would like this game. Somersault, and the guy stays in the, in the sofa. There's no seatbelt, you can't see that. You can see the tape holding the sofa together. It's, a, it's not a new sofa. But I suspect I'll win this race more by whatever this bug is, which means that I'm still on 100 health, whereas everyone else um, isn't. Oh! Missed. and just crashed in. How am I still at 100%? I honestly don't know, Ruben. It's, it's not as if I've been driving cleanly myself. Oh, there you go. I'm at 98 now. See, I, I do take some damage occasionally. I wonder if I can get a white uh, racing suit. Oh, no, I just... I wanted to reverse out of that. There we go, Mean Rattler is very close. Being out. In fact, a lot of people very close, running low on their health. I go flying, but still my, my health is only at 98. Um, the other... 
really fun thing about this is that when the when the cars or the sofas are wrecked, they don't spawn out of the map. So they just stay there, and eventually this game will look like uh, sort of 20, 20 odd sofas, a lot of them on fire. Oh, how did that not. How did I not vet Ramona Rotten there? See, I don't like when it reverses the camera. A couple people doing wheelies. Obviously, the short wheelbase, that's quite easy to do. And again, I get hit off, but I'm, I'm still only at 98 health. Slight bit of patterning there, obviously. PS Now hasn't got the best reputation for, for high quality. Or latency. I'm having no problems with latency. Occasionally there's a little bit of patterning. You saw another flash across the screen there. Nope, I'm going to have to bring it back in. I thought, I thought I'd open out with a PS4 game because Two of the other games that I've really enjoyed are not PS4 games, so you won't get the high quality test that I believe Wreckfest will give us. Contact time are very important to keep making contact with other, dri other drivers. And it says that my front right wheel is damaged. So it's about it's about time I had some damage on my wheels. There you go, Ruben, night five. I've been trapped in there. Just respawn. So it looks like I'm gonna win this kind of by default. But I will because of how these demolition derbies or battle royales work, I will have to eliminate at least one driver. Gameplay quality is questionable. I, I must admit, I've gone for a, a long event on this one. It's a, it's a 24 player demolition derby, last man standing. And for whatever reason, my car doesn't seem to be doing much damage to others or damage or getting damaged itself. I guess the other thing I could do, if I can work out where the pause button is. Uh, no, I won't restart. What I'll do is I'll go into a race for sofa cars, which are also just as fun. Because, yeah, they're all at, all at 0% and don't, don't seem to be uh, retiring. This gives me a good chance to show off the death loop circuit, which is one of my favourites. I'm not going to drive the sofa car on this one. Um, I need one with a bit of speed on it for reasons which should become apparent later. Let's go for the Rabba. Now we'll go for similar thing, elimination race, but I'll, I'll knock it down to 10, no, 9, nine opponents, 30 seconds, so it's a 10 minute race. Um, And 
save this player. Damage can stay as intense. The other thing I keep noticing is going back to a PlayStation controller, every time I'm pressing, I'm told to press X, I press square. Because, of course, on a steady controller, the button that is in place of square is the X button. Try me, let's get smashed! I'll go back to my normal driving camera view. So I'm noticing a bit of patterning. I wonder if I've actually dropped from either 720 or 4 or 1080p. I wonder if I've dropped a little bit further. But anyway, this is why I wanted to do the death loop track. Just so you guys can see that from. I wish I knew why it was patterning so much. I didn't. I've not had this problem in the few days I've been playing before today. Flat out round the loop. I think uh, someone hitting me. Oh, the sheriff has got got up the inside of me. I'll get up the inside of the sheriff on the next corner. Again, so I'm fifth going through the loop. Oh, come on, Thundercat. Uh, what game is this? This is Wreckfest on uh, PS Now. I believe it's a PS4 game. And it's available on PS Now on PC. Uh, whether you can play it on other platforms, I don't know. I've not looked into it. And I've looked through the uh, Microsoft xCloud game uh, game list, but couldn't find couldn't find Wreckfest. Couldn't find many arcade races. And there's a few other arcade races on PS Now I've enjoyed. Thundercat, stay, stay behind me for crying out loud. And I think I'm going to take the other route because if your car isn't fast enough to take the take the loop, the loop, unfortunately the sofa cars aren't. You can take this this other pathway. And you see that's that's gained me three or four seconds on Screaming Eagle. Unfortunately, I am right alongside Thundercat and we're fighting over being eliminated now. Which means in ten seconds I've got to get past him. Thundercat gets eliminated. And Screaming Eagle, for some reason, is reset, is now dropped 30 seconds behind me. I'm I'm not sure the game is entirely uh bug, is entirely clean. Oh no, Screaming Eagle's back in front of me by seven seconds, which means I'm gonna I'm gonna drop out seconds gonna be the best I can do. There we go.
that's not bad. It wasn't the fastest round of lap. It was slightly faster than Screaming Eagle, but didn't get didn't get the right start for it. Such a shame. Could have won that, I think. That was that was good fun. What I'm going to do now? I'm going to close that game and see if we can go into another one, another game. Uh, so other games I've tried already. Cell Damage HD is a game that I, re I remember from uh, years and years ago on PlayStation 2, actually. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed that game uh, and enjoyed playing it again. Uh, Truck Racer is exactly how it sounds. The Crew 2 was trying that for a bit of test on Ubisoft Plus. Uh, F1 2020 was comparison to uh, Stadia. Uh, it works. It It's actually a very... Uh, comparable experience between Stadia and PS Now. I'm going to try a little Big Planet 3. game I've never played before, but I've heard good things about it, and the Little Big Planet often... Little Big Planet series often uh, helps the, uh, the PlayStation consoles. It's norm normally a good entry point in. There are a range of games available. Uh, F1 2020. There's also um, a rather cartoony F1 kart style racer, which I've, I always enjoyed. And people saying, "Well, why can't F1 be a bit more like an arcade style racer?" I just point them to that game, and that's called F1 Race Stars. Uh, it's quite a few years old now, so use the left stick to adjust the brightness slider until the little ducky is barely visible. So we'll go from that. Now I've just chosen, I chose this game and I've got no idea what to expect really. 2014 game, so seven years old now. Is that Stephen Fry? That is Stephen Fry. Shepherd Boy saying he wants to play that new uh, Sackboy game. I think that's the PS5 one where it uses the haptic feedback on the triggers. I'm hoping they bring that to PS Now soon.
the Sega Rubber Sack folk playing this game. Uh, so I'm going to play the. No, oh, no, I've been refused to join. So after Stephen Fry talks about how welcoming everyone in this game is, I've been refused to join on the opening level. Maybe they knew me, I don't know. That looks nothing like me. See the action button. Okay, fair enough. Managed to get to shut up. Oh, good. Somehow doesn't look good. No, sack boy, no. Yes, we know it's Little Big Planet 3. You told us that earlier. This is very colourful, but come on. Let's actually get into some gameplay. Perplexed by a daunting jump? Be sure to get a running start. This hurt. Hi, Newton.
This is just a vote of nonsense and I can't skip it. What's no? I want to play a game. That's convenient. I want to join you, just let me play. Good, do we get to play now? Why are you going to tell us more stuff? Oh, all that loading was just for a cutscene. Because that's what it was. That was one massive cutscene. I wasn't doing anything. Okay. I wanted to get that bubble full of jam. Am I, I am saying he's... Uh, Up and down on the left stick to move in and out of the screen. There you go. That's your 3D platformer type bit. Ooh. Did I just jump on the ice cubes. No, Stephen Fry, you didn't. Hold to retry. There we go. Good afternoon, Stadia Dad. Oh boy, I need a magnifying glass to see that. Of course. Okay. Hmm. The green thing. Oh dear. I want to do. Oh, what's oh, R1? Okay. Yeah. I, I want the hot air balloon. 
Why, why, why are you in my hot air balloon and not me? So that was a spongy bit. Okay. This game is absolute nonsense. Jump onto the tiny spongy bit, then the big spongy bit. Although I still think it'd be a lot easier if this guy gave me a lift in his giant balloon thing. Jump. I didn't quite get all of them. Nope. Right. Ready? Jump. Swing back. Swing back. Have a nice little touch between the two there, jump up, and oh, that was fast. <laughs> okay, you get the hang of this game, but I'm There we go, we got caught with our fish. Oh, now you want me on your airship. Now I'm off to Newton's airship. some levels get to the end all in one go to see some of Buncombe's something what sticker that one Oh, so you can. Oh, 
how do you there we go new stickers and we'll spin it round and put it there Tea tin. There you go. This is obviously a game aimed probably at a younger market than I am. At. Yes. Oh no. Ow. Definitely blows. Apparently not. Whatever. I'm still I'm trying to Yeah, but I've got no friends. I just do it on my own. That's what she said. Let's take what switches. Okay. No. No, 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 no. So that was a weird one. Uh, part of me wants to play Doom just to equal, even that out a little bit. I'm not, I'm not going to play Doom. What I might, I might do go for another completely random one. Oh, there you go. There's an F1 kart racer for everyone who's particularly interested. Uh, hamster ball. Take control of a hamster in a ball and get set to run the most frenzied race of your life. The clock is ticking and everything is out to stop you with crazy obstacles around every turn, unexpected twists and dramatic drops. Each level will immerse you and challenge you in new and inventive ways. Yeah, go on, man. I give it a laugh. Happy Cloud Gamer, thanks for joining. Uh, again, if you're new here, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, all the things that every YouTuber tells you to do. We, as I keep saying, we tell you to do them because we want you to do them. It, it helps us out. Uh, 
uh, trying out uh, PS Now, which is Sony's cloud gaming offering. I'm uh, actually thoroughly enjoying it so far. We've got a, a good range of games. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Wreckfest and uh, Cell Damage. I won't be doing any Cell Damage today because I think they're really two quite similar games in terms of their, uh, their workings, their mechanics. I might finish off uh, later tonight, later, well, tonight, later today, with my favourite game of all time, which is on PS Now. I've said that Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I'll be playing later today, is my favourite game on Stadia. But uh, a few people would know I'm a big fan of the Ratchet and Clank series. And one of the uh, best games from that series will be available on PS Now. I press start, which I'm told is that side of the touchpad. So I'm play a hustle, yeah, let's go for a practice. Now I play a little bit of Super Monkey Ball in my time. I'm, I'm expecting it to be a little bit like that. I'm not disappointed yet, but yeah. Lovely little, adorable hamster in a ball running down this this maze, race track. I imagine this will get a lot, a lot more fun once you get some AI players in. They eventually get the hand controls. Crosses the line with twenty seconds left to spare. Happy Cloud Gamer saying he shared it on Twitter. Thank you very much for that. I was taking a drink. I wasn't expecting it to start that quickly. Oh, there's holes in this level. That's what she said. Ow. I go down that side of the map. I've got no idea what I'm doing. Oh. Ow! And again. Whew. Right, so what's... What's this one? Bounce. Oh no, there's going to be bouncy things on it now. What? That's okay. I should have followed the directions. Not a good start. Oh, oh, should I stop? Yep, yeah, I should have stopped in that. There we go. Oh, you're supposed to collect those piggy banks. I didn't know. I thought they were bombs when I first glanced at them. Where do I go after that? Oh, okay. That thing probably gave me more time, which is something I need. What on earth is going on here? This is madness. Did we go the right way? No, I'm not. So I've wasted all of that. Get in the hole. That's what she said. Only showing a black screen for you guys. So it is. No idea what's going on there because it should be. It should be showing something for you guys. But yes, I can see it's only showing a black screen, which is kind of concerning. So if I do that and then go back into the game. I'm 
and eventually that will reset on here. And that, that's showing. Sure there we go. So I'll restart that level and do exactly the same mistake I made on the first time. Obviously, one that is one of the problems with PS now. I'm not entirely uh, comfortable with it all yet. There we go. That's better. For those of you who played Super Monkey Ball in the past, I, I played it on the Wii, which means I could could have used the six-axis, not the six-axis control, the Wii, the Wii remote. Oh, I stopped there when I shouldn't have. Get him a hole, get him a hole. Charles Orand, thank you very much for joining. We're doing something a bit different to my normal Stadia or GeForce Now gameplay. I'm going for some PS Now. I've been playing a bit of uh, Wreckfest, some Little Big Planet. I'm now doing some uh, Hamster Ball, which is a, an interesting game, much like the Super Monkey Ball I've said before. Uh, it's giving you courses to navigate whilst you're a hamster in a ball. What's going on here? It's just a series of different mazes. So I've got oh, what happened there. Oh, this is a huge illusion. Oh, blimey. Oh. I was going to go for extra time, but I realised the time it would take me to get that would have... Uh... Oh! Avoiding the older brushes, obstacles... This is madness. And what happened there? I just got. No, it's happened again. Music doesn't help with the madness on this game. So Oh, well, oh, goal. There we go. I have 10 seconds to spare. A game that I like that was similar as Hyper Bowl. I've not heard of that, but I've got, I do, do enjoy games like these occasionally. Just Obviously, people know I'm a racer on the majority of the games I play. Racing or platforming. This is an interesting mix where... just have to stay alert racing down the track which I'd be, oh I could have had a trick shot there now I've slowed down so I'm going to have to slide them in and out which is not what I want there we go get some speed up now Bouncing off the walls. And again, because I've fallen down. I had to slow up a little bit. Whoa, what's what's gone on there? No. Oh shoot. Hyperball was bowling, but you guided the ball down different tracks. What the so you're guiding it down and then there's what the 10 pins at the end that's a that's an interesting uh, interesting twist there I quite like that idea uh, what platform is it on I have to I have to search to see if I can find it
I didn't think I was going to win that. I don't think I was going to get to the end. So that's impressed me. Standard time, 90 seconds at that start, 107.3. Yeah, we, we did have a few crashes. I bought you so start there, I was taking a drink. I'll get back into it. Go down this path because I don't know any better. Whoa! I'm sure that, yeah, there we go. There's, there's something we were supposed to jump into. Oh! into the little spoon hole type thing. It's an old PC game. You know, you need to do that PS now, it's on more devices. Well, you say that, it's on PC, which is more than you can say for xCloud, actually. xCloud isn't available on PC yet. I have found a way I can stream it from my PC. So you might see me doing something with PS Now later later in the month just as long as I can work out controllers for it because that's where I fell down on this I've got a PS5 controller which I don't actually use at the moment God, this is madness None of the levels are simple. I've actually rolled myself out of half pipe there. Oh, so close. Come on, this better be it. This better be it. This isn't going to be it. There we go. Time out. Oops. So let's re let's restart that level and try again because I'm I'm sure I'm sure we weren't far away there. So blue stopwatches are the most valuable. I'm not going to waste time looking am I missing the spoon catapult type things very soon I think someone's going to point out to me well you like you like this game but you didn't like Rock of Ages 3 and I got to admit I did like these kind of levels in Rock of Ages 3 it was the tower defence, um, the levels which I had no idea what I was really doing on. But it just throws you in at the beginning and says, go on, defend the tower from such and such. And I'm really, really not happy with games like that. Whereas this one, it's very simple. You get your ball to the end of the level. Not even the Monty Python esque humour. In Rock of Ages 3 could, could help me. Uh, Unitrix, hello. Thanks for joining. We're playing a bit of PS now at the moment. Uh, there are a few more levels on this game called Hamster Ball. There you go. Look at that hamster go. Even got it within the normal amount of time. We'll go to the next level. Now, only tricks, just be careful what you're posting, particularly with the dot .exe, as whether it 
so it might get uh, recognised as a link, which obviously we all know it's not. But we don't want Sammy Bot telling you off too many times. No, oh, here we go again. What what was that? Uh, what? There we go. Back in back in the cage. Rolling hand. Can you imagine the scale of these levels? Everyone knows how big the hamster in the ball is. Can you imagine the scale here? There we go. Oh, was I supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to stay on that little... That's not going to be easy. There we go. Please don't make me do that again. Game. Now this was a PS3 game, so yeah, six, six axis controls might have uh, been very useful there. Unitrix, uh, he wasn't. This game looks really fun. He wasn't a fan of Rocket Ages either. Ah, what was it we were saying about Hyperbole? There's your bowling pins. Oops. Mm. Oh, this is frustrating now. Down. No. Down as it goes up, there we go, and of course, that oh, we're not going to do it on this one, guys, especially not if we fall down that hole. Game's insistent on giving me the hard mode now, so we did the previous one very easily. Yeah, on my second go. I knew what to expect from everything. Oh, it's going to give me another one of those tightrope walks. Oh, happy Car Gamer, when you say you need to play that game, which one are you talking about? Is that Rock of Ages or this? Uh, this is available on PS now. Uh, Rock of Ages, I really wouldn't suggest. Oh, it's a good thing they put the stopwatches on this part of the level. Oh, and this happened last time where I just missed the cage and it went all the way over. Now we're going to have to wait for it to come back. There we go. Did I buy Hitman 3? I didn't buy Hitman 3 because I, as I proved on my Hitman 1 stream a while back, I really wasn't that good at it and I didn't enjoy it. Having said that, I have tried... Uh, Hitman 1 and indeed a bit of Hitman 2 since since uh, yesterday's release of Hitman 3 and I might try and give it a bit more of a go probably off stream that can be a game I relax with 
but Hitman probably isn't going to be my favourite series. I'm going to wait this time instead of falling straight through. Loads of spitting tops. Oh! The music is very um, Pixar style. You can almost imagine this being the theme tune to The Incredibles or something. Swinging in to try and get that, that stopwatch more time. Got that one but fell straight down. Noticing a, a lot of patterning now that I'm trying to stream PS Now. I don't know if that's. Oh! I'm not going to do this. I think I'm going to quit the game at the end of the level. The goal is the other side of this. I believe that. Two seconds. No, I'm gonna gonna give that one more go, and then get into a game I'm most excited to play. Let's pause for the game while I can take a drink. Oh, I wish these these things would drop down in good time. What what's with the random movement on these objects? And again I've Oh I've got into the cage. Ben Jacobs, this isn't Super Monkey Ball. You're right, it's not Super Monkey Ball, but you're you've done the same thing as I have, recognizing the uh, the similarities. Now this is a game called Hamster Ball, presumably named that because of the hamster in the ball. I don't, I, don't, I don't pretend to work for a game developer. I'm hoping this this game doesn't start patterning during my next game, which has to be my favourite game on Stadia. Oh. No. There we go. So, big holes there. I think I've made up a lot of time on this compared to where I was at before. Which will give me about a minute on this final tightrope walk. And I was right, the goal is there. And there you go, 69 seconds to spare. Uh, ben Jacob says, hi, I'm Benjanina, thank you, Benjaninja, on Twitter, thank you very much, I think I might have seen your name around there, but thanks very much for joining, uh, I'm, well, as you probably know, I'm Sammy McLeod, I stream a lot of cloud-based gaming content, uh, keep an eye out in chat for SammyBot as well, I'm going to just see if I can wake him up, because he doesn't seem to be have done much so far. So, say hello to Sammy Bot. I'm going to close that game and then we'll move into oh, Jetpack Joyride. That sounds like a fun game as well. But 
the game I've been most excited about getting a PS Now for. There we go. Sunny Bot says he was sleeping. I can find it. Uh, it. Might be under PlayStation exclusives. It certainly was a PlayStation exclusive, which I've played on the PS3. It's not on that list. Uh, pick up and play. I'll have to go through a few of those games later. Uh, play history, family friendly, recently added, trending. I'm going to have to scroll all the way down to the R's for this. Uh, and they better not have removed it a couple. Yeah, they haven't removed it, thank God. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, a cracking time. So, Ratchet and Clank is a series which is quite close to my heart. Uh, Happy Cloud Gamer says, yes, Killzone's on there as well, which is a game I've never played, but I'm looking forward to trying it out. Ratchet and Clank is a game that's very close to my heart. Back in 2001, 2002, uh, I went around to see my godparents, and my uncle, well, I call him uncle, was playing uh, the original Ratchet and Clank on the PS2. That was the first time I'd seen any video game being played and I was absolutely gobsmacked at, at what it was and I was six or seven at the time and I thought yeah I really want that. Um, that Christmas I got PS2 with Ratchet and Clank um, and I've been playing the series through PS2 and PS3 days, uh, in, enjoyed sort of the movie that came out in 2015 to go with the PS4 reboot and I'm very excited about the PS5 game but obviously I haven't played either of those two. Hopefully and Sony if you're watching this or if anyone at Sony is watching this uh, I would love to see Ratchet and Clank on PS now that's all the games so that's the PS4 reboot uh, the new PS5 game coming out so I can play them I really really miss Ratchet and Clank and it hurts but now, Insomniac has become a big name studio because of what they've done with Spider Man. I've loved them since the beginning of Ratchet and Clank. And this game, which was released in 2009, is by far my favourite of the series. So hopefully, we won't have any problems on this one, like we had with Super Hamster Ball. Happy Cloud Gamer says, your better half loves Ratchet and Clank. But it is a brilliant series. And I know a lot of people love the PS4 reboot game. Uh, I liked what, I've liked what I've seen, but as someone who played the original Ratchet and Clank, I see all the bits which are slightly different and think, no, I don't like that. Uh, they change the storyline a little bit, which makes sense if you're redoing the story from the beginning. Anyway, it's saying I've signed in, so let's hope that in a minute when I'm watching this on my screen down below. Uh, yes, it's showing up there, so yes, it is working. Oh. This was also one of the first Ratchet and Clank games to have a, uh, a proper orchestral soundtrack. And as someone who likes game soundtracks, it shocks me that I've not actually tried to find it online and listen to it. Uh, no, there's no save data, of course there isn't. Uh, oh, there's a grey rectangle there, okay. So it was barely visible at that point. I create a new save game. But if you ask me why I paid probably about 50 to 100 pounds for PS Now, this game is why.
Unitrix, this is Ratchet and Clank, a crack in time. So this little robot I'm controlling at the moment is called Clank. He's just been uh, at the start of one, well, the end of one of the games earlier in this this series. He was kidnapped by Doctor Nefarious and transported to the Great Clock, which is where he is at the moment. I'll stay quite a bit more about the Great Clock because you find out later. Uh, Ratchet is. His friend, who's a Lombax from another dimension, well, no, he's from this dimension, but his, the rest of his species has fled this dimension after a war with another series. That one. so good playing this game again. I haven't played it in oh, best part of seven or eight years. No game sound, Tony Cook says. I'm not entirely sure what's what's gone on with that then. Uh, let's well, I can see there's no game sound at all. Oh dear. So let's Let's rectify that. Uh, yes, now can oh, let's route that through browser. There you go. You should be able to get some game sound now. Uh, T W Cooks also saying, "Oh, T W Cooks and Tony, are you the same person? You can hear me. Yeah, I could see through uh, my software that I could." I was streaming mic audio, but for some reason game audio wasn't coming through. Hopefully that's a lot better now. Of course, the other thing I could do is uh, game options, audio mode, I'll go automatic, uh, subtitles, let's turn the subtitles on. T.W. Cook says, still can't hear anything. Hmm. Is that any better? Oh, of course you can't hear anything. Cause... There we go. That's, that's better. Okay. Hurry up, 
You're on their way, sir! You have to move! See, I'm trying to work out, work out Elgato on the fly. I know how to punch. I've known how to punch in this game for ages. It says that's better. Okay. Thanks very much for helping me out there, guys. It's, it's very difficult for me to work out what you guys can hear. So, thanks for, thanks for keeping me updated. And, Helping me out there. Eventually, this thing will just become, this, this will become easy to use. Game audio, oh, game mic a little bit lower. So game audio a little bit lower is mic is about the same volume. Yeah, I can see that a little bit. Yeah, perhaps also if I turn the gain up on the mic, that'd be a lot easier. Okay, go. Thank you very much for keeping me updated. Did you guys hear any sound on any of the other games? If you guys were hearing sound on the other games, then I think I know what the problem might have been. I'll go back and just have a look through this stream. There you go, much better. Thank you very much, TW Cooks, Happy, Unitrix, everyone, for helping me out there. As you can see in this game, it talks a lot about time, the base of the great clock. This... My favourite game on Stadia is Rise of the Tomb Raider. My uh, favourite game of all time is this. It's, it's a game that... I absolutely love, I love the series, and um, this is by far the best out of all of them. Take 50 feet. I am curious. What lie did you tell the Zoni in your quest for vengeance? Vengeance? You think I went to all this trouble for mere vengeance? They say I'm egomaniacal. Let's just say it's all in the past. Lawrence! Right here, sir. Ready the orb of gratuitous immobilization. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Shall I prepare the mnemonic station again? No. I have a better idea. But, sir... Patience, Lawrence. We have all the time in the universe. <laughs> That if you lost your car keys in it, they would be almost impossible to find. Luckily for Ratchet, Captain Copernicus L. Quark was on the case. His mission, rescue the Lombax's one and only friend. Yep, without Clank, Ratchet was alone in the universe. Alone. 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 You realize this ship has an ejector seat, right? Sorry. I guess you could say I've been a little antsy in my pansy at the thought of getting back into the hero business. <laughs> yep. These wild stallions have been in the stable too long. <laughs> right. Look, just keep your eyes peeled. Talon says this sector's crawling with mercenaries. Rest easy, my friend. My vigilance is both eternal and peripheral. Warning. Warning. Unidentified anomaly detected. Hang on. Shifting to evasive maneuver. Much for clean underwear. Who the heck are we? Beat me. Perhaps a leisurely stroll through this uncharted jungle will solve the mystery. The uh, Trick says that fox kind of looks like Star Fox. I assume you mean Star Fox. I've, I've heard that before as well. Don't walk into the flames. I forgot, I forgot we could do, you could do that in this game. But you play the majority of the Ratchet and Clank series as Ratchet, uh, this fox like looking fella. Uh, that guy in the green is called Captain Cork, who's um, kind of the world's of the universe's most useless hero. And has often actually been the bad guy. But you progress through the story um, over multiple levels. Uh, is there a new ratchet out now? Uh, okay, like not yet. I'm not so good with swimming. Just wait here. I'll find you another way across. Oh, great. This rain is going to be murder on my spandex. Uh, there is a new Ratchet and Clank game for PS5 coming out. I'm hoping that gets released on PS Now. It might not be immediate, but I'm hoping it happens reasonably soon. But as you'll see as the game progresses, and I'll probably do a few more streams of this game again because I love it so much, uh, with various different weapons. So this is what they call the Constructo Pistol. Which you can modify in various different ways. 
Uh, there's also a weapon called the Sonic Eruptor, which basically just belches and burps all the way through. Where there are bridges, there are people. Where there are people, there are ships. You see where I'm going with this? Hey, that's pretty smart. You're gonna make a great sidekick. Look at this beautiful native craftsmanship. Then he just kicks straight through it. Take that, culture. Whoa! Quark, are you seeing this? Something is seriously wrong with this planet. Uh, it's like time is all not working. Uh, happy, yes, I, I really hope we get PS5 games coming to PS Now, um, particularly PS Now on PC. I, I've got a PS5 controller, so I'd be able to take advantage of these. Uh, what do you call it? These haptic feedback triggers. So games, games like Sackboy's Big Adventure, or I believe the new Ratchet and Clank might take advantage of the haptic feedback as well. Captain Cork always comes up with the excuses. You see the size of those things? They were hard. I can use circle to fire. I've been You see, playing the original games, I always remember circle is fire, not R1. Use those explosive boxes. Uh, T.W. Cook says tried Dirt 5 on PS5 and the haptics are awesome. I, from what I've heard, you're not wrong. They, they are absolutely incredible. I haven't, I haven't got a PS5 myself. There's all sorts of weapons. Mr. Zircon is also a fan favourite. Uh, can you co-op in Ratchet? You can on some games, and there is a there is the four-player Ratchet and Clank co-op game, uh, Q Force, or All for One, depending on which market you're in, um, which I never played. Uh, a Cracking Time was the last Ratchet and Clank game I played. Um, actually, that's a lie. It wasn't. Um, the last one I played was the sequel to this, which wasn't as good. I don't like to remember playing it. And I, if I can get enough people interested, I might try and do some playthroughs of All for One, which would be a co-op game where you play as either Ratchet, Clank, uh, Captain Quark, the green guy, or Dr. Nefarious, the robot guy, uh, working together as a, as a team. Then try Drummelnet's new constructor line and take charge of your arsenal. Each weapon can be modified with any constructor approved upgrade. Rate of fire, ammo type, specialty triggers. If you can dream it, Constructo can deliver it. Now available in three flavors the Constructo Bungalow, Constructo Pistol, and Constructo Shotgun. <laughs> Unitrix asking if I like Minecraft. I've honestly never played it. Uh, it's not the kind of game that's particularly taking my interest. In. Oh. 
I can't, I can't be asked to use the bombs and the weapons. I just want to swing my Omni Venture. So, yeah, these. This uh, wrench is called an Omni Wrench. And it actually uses it for all sorts. Please, please help me. My children, they're in danger. What seems to be the problem, citizen? My bullets. We were fishing up the river when they attacked. Quark, stay here. I'll go save the children. You got it, sidekick. Smart thinking. I'll just stay here and hold the fort. Saving the children. So, bring them back to them. Press select to, to display the area map at the start. That's select. So it might be I've become used to gameplay on Stadia and PS4. But this game does actually start to feel a little bit dated and I'm, I'm a bit sad about that. And it might be that because I'm streaming it, it's not quite at the highest quality. I hope that's not the case. I think I'm going to rescue the children. There's various children on this level. And then I will probably end the stream there. Not to say I won't continue playing, but you know, right, that'll be a couple of hours on stream. Played a few good games on PS Now. Shown off the platform quite well. I I really can't wait to get back into this game properly. You get you get given a pair of hover boots later on. And that's exactly as fun as it sounds. I'm gonna put, the, put that mod on the constructor weapon immediately. Am I? Because I'm trying to get into that middle platform. I'm not entirely sure how I get there yet. Ah, there's a. Is it? Ah, so we go there, over to there, into the middle, and then across. Okay. Break up and get some currency bolts. Uh, Ulitrix says how I use GeForce now. I have used GeForce now. Um, played various games on it, um, including Rocket League. I played that on stream a couple, a couple of weeks ago, I think. Uh, did a co-stream with Andy Morphs. Uh, GeForce Now I found quite useful for people who have a, a lot of PC games already or don't want to abandon their PC, their PC gaming library. So for me I don't get as much use out of it but it's still very fun to use and not experienced that many problems with it either. I've still experienced about, about the same number of problems I have with Stadia. I don't know why I was going that way. So it's it's a very stable platform as long as you've got the uh, stable internet for it. I played a bit of Fortnite on it and I haven't played Fortnite anywhere else. I'm going to distract you killing a spawn point for these enemies first. Use quick select, choose a new weapon. There we go. And that one. Break open that big box, plenty useful. And then it's a gold bolt. I haven't used a VR headset, Unitrix. Um, where I live.